guys, uh, this is Stefan Arstall, founder and CEO of Tower Electric Bikes. We're back here with Ray, our resident mechanic. Uh, we're going to do step two of replacing the entire electrical component on the bike. Um, the first part we did was uh, replacing the LCD screen. Um, step two of uh, you know, troubleshooting this is we're going to replace this whole uh, electrical harness. Uh, we're going to send you, uh, yeah, so this is one. This is your whole electrical harness. It sort of feeds through like this. And we're going to fish this out because you got a bunch of stuff up here on the top of the electrical harness, and only one uh, like plug in on the back. You're going to fish that out this way through this hole and that hole. Now, because uh, the electric bikes are pretty tight on the uh, the bars here, some are tighter than others. Ours is ours is quite tight. Um, so we're going to pull this electrical harness out. Um, he's going to attach a brake cable to it when we pull that out, so we still have the ability to feed another one back through. And then he's, he's going to take our uh, brake cable. We're going to pull that out and then we're going to feed the electrical harness back in and then we're going to feed the brake cable back in. And the reason we do it in that, uh, that process is this, this is a little more substantial cable than the brake cable. The brake cable is the last one to get through there because there's three wires that go through there. So Ray, uh, tell us a little bit about your background again uh, for people that weren't watching that first thing. So again, I'm Ray Bellin, uh, I'm a bicycle mechanic and uh, I do a R&D for tower. I uh, do uh, repairs for tower and electrical service for tower and uh, today we're going to be replacing our wiring harness uh, on the tower uh, beach bum e-bike we have to disconnect the rear brake cable uh, we have to remove all of the brake cable holders and the two zip ties underneath the frame that secure all the cables and uh, then we have to pull the old harness out and when we do that, we fish, uh, well, first we tape a, a cable, an old brake cable to the old harness and fish the cable through the frame. Uh, I go ahead and pull that cable out. No, so, so let, me, let me go into that a little yeah. bit. So with the brake cable, what he's done here is he's just taken an old brake cable and you can use an uh, electrical wire or something like that. And you can see down here, he's taped that on to the, the one end of the harness and just made, what, six or seven uh, wraps on the correct. tape. You yeah. want it to be super secure because you're gonna pull this pretty substantially and then you can attach this cable on. So he's gonna feed this through and then when he gets to the end here, the brake cable is gonna be in the middle of it and he's gonna use that to fish back. Yeah. So that's how you can do it on an existing e-bike that you get from us because you're gonna have that cable in there. You don't just wanna yank that cable out because there's no way to fish it back in there without a tool that the factory has. So this is a critical step. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and back this brake cable all the way out um, and pull it pull it out of the tube. Okay, so the brake cable, you didn't attach any wire to that. I didn't, no. So I just, you just yanked that one I through. just pulled it out um, and, and then you can actually use the brake cable to pull your fish or you can use the harness to pull your fish. I use the harness, we'll pull the harness out. Uh, once the brake cable is out, then the harness, um, uh, the new harness gets taped on and goes back in, which we've actually pre-fitted pre at this point. And then as I'm trying to get the, the large cable through the hole at the bottom of the bike, I have to twist this harness around a little bit and, and work the cable back and forth while I'm twisting until I get the end of the cable to come out of the hole down here. You gotta be patient with this. It takes a little bit of time and finesse. Once you get it done, then Pull it out, you want to take your cable and your, your, your harness is installed and you can fish. So your... Ray, let's, let's take that harness out and put it back in with the fish. I just want to show, because there is a little bit of a struggle here. So if you're doing this at home, it's not just, oh, we fish it out, you, you, you go back in real quick. It's, it's kind of challenging. You want me to hold this? Okay. So there's the brake cable is out and then the... And then the... Now we're on the harness. You can see there's a little more struggle with this. There's starting to a hang up inside of here. Okay. That, that, um, okay. It doesn't want to come through. So it can get hung up in certain spots. That's why you want to really, you got to have this thing on super secure. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to unwrap this. You're going to, and then you're going to put your other, uh, your brand new one, on new one on back on the exact so same way. The exact same way. So yep. we're not, we don't need to do that step. You can also, like if you're working on a bike on a, on a stand here like this, you can take a, um, what do you call this thing? Zip tie. It's a little zip tie. You can tie it around the tire here and around mm -hmm. this top tube, and that will hold that bike so it's not whacking in the head here. Okay? 
So now this is where I've got it fit through and I'm, I'm, and I'm encountering some resistance at the bottom. I just got lucky, came right through that time. So now once so if it doesn't come right through, you got to twist it around twist it. And, and spin it around and work work it back and forth until it goes right through. And so what you to understand here, you you got this tube coming down, and then there's a little like hole in the bottom of the tube, and then it drops down. And you'll you'll be able to see this if you look close to your bike. But you got to sort of pull down because it's going down the tube, and then you got to shoot into this other tube. So you're gonna go give a downward pressure with this bike cable. Then I've got my brake cable. Uh, the brake cable. It, Internal cable will be a little deformed from the pinch bolt here. Uh, I just push that right to the tip of the end, but I don't I don't pull it all the way through. This is just uh, to make it easier for me to get this back in. And at this point, all you do is fish this in. So you don't need a you don't uh, brake need cable to fish for this part of it. Yeah. Now why is that? It's just because it's because so, the house so rigid. Is so rigid. Yeah. And okay. now watch this little. So you don't have that same rigidity right in the in the cabling harness that you do have in the brake cable. This is again a little bit of fumbling, trying to trying to fit this, and there it is. So now we've got our brake cable and our new harness pull. Okay, now one thing I, I want you guys to know is I don't know how easy or difficult that looked on camera, but it's not it's not super easy. It's, and you know, Ray's been doing this for 35 years, so if you find you're struggling with that, I mean that's a good uh, point to take it to a local bike mechanic and have them fish that through you if you're having any problems. You don't drive yourself mad with that. You can try it yourself, but if you get really frustrated with it, uh, it is a little tricky. All right, so now that we've got our harness pulled through and our brake cable pulled through, uh, we can go ahead and replace the controller model. Okay, and remember, you gotta replace that, uh, your, your brake cable back. And yes, back of there. course, this will all need to be buttoned back up and you'll know, have to push your brake cable through. Where do you, uh, so let's do that brake cable while, while we, we got it here, just to show my next little step here. So you're gonna seat this up top there. Push the cable back through, get the uh, part with the pin, where the pinch bolt is pulled, pull it uh, back, back out, route the cable correctly, put the cable back into the brake caliper. We've got a separate video that shows this in detail, uh, but you know you want to sort of do this thing in an organized manner and get these cables out of the way before you start taking the rest of the electrical system apart here. And we have a pinch bolt coming off, so we'll go ahead and put this back together. That's fine. You got all the pieces there. So yes, I do. I'm just okay. adding a pinch bolt here. Now I'll get this guy cable in and back on. So uh, basically, we we replaced you know two of the four uh, components of the electrical system. Now we've replaced the LCD screen. Uh, we've replaced the central center, center uh, cable harness. You know both those things can be sent in a really small box to you. So that's the you know the design of this bike is very modular. So that you know, you can we can send you a little envelope, and you can replace half your electrical system. The only other components we have is uh, this controller here, uh, which basically has three bolts on it. You pull that off, and it's got three uh, sort of connection points coming off the bottom. One connection point uh, goes to the center a cable harness that we just uh, took out. Another one goes to the PAS system, uh, which is this little thing that sort of uh, counts the cadence of your pedal, and it, it matches your your power of the motor. And the other cable. Uh, connects to the, uh, the motor on the rear wheel. Um, so 